assume you might have to go, I assume you might have to go there for any part of the mic and then just move over. That's fine. Right? That way you don't have to start with Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely very comfortable. I, mean, I, I can tell um, that our offense, I think, as a whole, has got more comfortable to get ready. Um, it's kind of nice to see that transition through spring from Texas on to the spring game to now. Um, and I'm, I'm sure Max and Max will say the same thing. I mean, just the offense connection, I guess, as a whole, just clicking together and, and Kind of go out there, not really trying to force things, but I mean, just kind of get that rhythm. And then, I mean, it showed the day. I mean, the offense, we had some big plays, we had some drives with the rhythm or something. And you have to have chemistry as an offense to have that, or else you're driving and you don't know when. Explain the different feeling that, that you and Max would have kept this year with Matt being gone. I think the biggest thing for us is we both kind of have to, to step into that leadership role. Um, I mean, being the older guys now, it's kind of weird to say, I mean, being the older guys. Um, but, um, I mean, we've been treating, it's kind of like the role is reversed for us in a way, because, I mean, Matt. Taught me and Max everything that he knew, and now me and Max are teaching him. Max got me, he knows. I mean, we're trying to try to just, I mean, trying to keep that keep that rhythm going and, and keep the connection going. And I mean, we, we all know when we're competing for the same spot, but at the same time, I mean, we're a team. The team always comes first, and I mean, you can never put yourself for, for your own goals or your own personal. I mean, what you want to achieve from the team. So. Cody, you talk about that that third down conversion. You had to beat that went for 50 yards or whatever. What's time going through your mind? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Don't be sacked on third and ten. I don't know. Um, no, I mean it was it was um, it was a great play by Victor. I mean he, he's I mean, he's definitely one of those guys that's come along um, and, and had a great spring. And, and he's one of those guys that comes out and kind of just works every day and doesn't really complain. You know, and you like to see that in the receivers and you know, obviously Nelson and Nelson and Marquise, um, the guys on there. One that was like the one two and all that. But but to have Victor come in and, and, and fight and, and work for that third spot. Um, has been awesome to see him come in. And he never comes in and complains or, or I'm not getting enough rest, I'm not doing this. He comes in and just works. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I mean, every play, I mean, you don't really think, like, oh, who's in, who's this? Like, you just don't go on and you trust your series. Cody, I know it's just a spring game, but they, they stuck the captain. Like, I'm never really surprised by that at all. <laughs> what, what did he tell you? No idea. It was just kidding. I was like, go out there. Like, it wasn't playing or anything. It was just. I was standing next to him at the time. He was like, just run out there and act like you're a captain. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> first I'll run out there and be a captain like we're in a game. And I was like, all right. So, um, no, we went out there. We were just messing around. Hayes went out there and we just had fun with it. So. Okay, thanks, Coach. Do you, do you think you did enough uh, to spring to be a number one quarterback? Um, I think that I put everything I had into it. Uh, I think it's the best way to say it. That I left basically everything I had um, in spring and Hopefully, show all the hard work that I put in the offseason. Hopefully, show on film in the spring. Um, I mean, because both these guys, my right, are, are amazing quarterbacks. And, um, I mean, we all know we have to come out and compete every day, and you kind of have to have a, a great day every day. You can't really have a bad day. Um, so I think, personally, I mean, I obviously there's room to improve. Always room to improve, but um, I put everything I had into the spring. Talk about how you felt today compared to first day of practice. Yeah, I think uh, day one, I mean, the biggest thing for me was just kind of getting a snap. And then now day 15, I'm able to kind of go out there and actually play quarterback. I'm feeling way more comfortable. Um, definitely glad I got these extra 15 practices in. Uh, but, I mean, like I said, from day one to day 15, I've, I've learned a lot, a lot more comfortable, both in the huddle, with the offense, with the guys. It's, uh, it's been a big improvement for me. What, what did you like best about what you did today, what, and what didn't you like? Yeah, I think that first series went pretty well. Uh, had a good third down conversion to Marquise, and then the, the big play action uh, to the touchdown to Nelson. And kind of our motto uh, this whole spring has kind of been run the ball and then play action over their heads. And I, I feel like that that first series that I had uh, kind of kind of kind of demonstrated that. But uh, towards then, I mean. Probably taking too many sacks, uh, and that, that'll come with time, kind of getting used to the protections and, and the checkdowns. Um, but I feel like uh, it, it was a solid job. Max, the mindset right now to push these guys or to win the job? It's both. I'd say uh, we'd all say that. It's uh, to push each other. Um, every single rep I heard Cody say, I mean, you can never really have a bad day. Um, but then the goal, uh, like for all of us, is, is to win the job. I think when we're pushing each other, um, there's nothing but, but good things that can come out of it.
Max, what are you doing when you, know, it, it, you guys have a, a rotation going today when it's not your turn? Always in there, Max, what are you doing? Yeah, I think just getting mental reps. Uh, I mean, today was the first time I kind of got uh, the, the hand signals from Coach Martin, and so practicing those, uh, just put myself in Max or Cody's shoes. Uh, if I'm a quarterback, what am I going to do on that play? Uh, whether it's motions, whether it's the reads, just getting mental reps. I think anyone in any position would say that, um, but just every single rep or something I can learn uh, and something that I can improve on. Max, any sort of jitters, first real scrunching policy when the fans up there? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, a little bit of jitters, but not, not nervousness. Uh, that's the last thing Coach Allen told us before we went on the field was just treat this like the scrimmages, the four scrimmages we've had before. And I, feel like, I felt like that's what we did. It was pretty much the same format, except for there was fans in, in, in the crowd. And so uh, just trying to, to approach uh, the spring game with that mindset, and I feel like uh, I did a good job with that. Do one more for Max. For a freshman quarterback, which do you think is more difficult, grasping the, the playbook or getting a sideline from uh, grasping the playbook, I'd say. Uh, I can't. I come from a high school that was no huddle, uh, so we, we were all hand signals, and uh, so I'm kind of used to that. Uh, but you learn this whole new NFL style offense. That's that's probably the hardest part, and I think that's why uh, early on I was kind of hesitant at, at certain times. But uh, like I touched on earlier, uh, from practice one to practice 15, uh, learned a lot of this playbook, and uh, excited to move forward and, and keep learning. Yeah, sir. Obviously, you have two interceptions. That's not um, ideal. <laughs> and, you know, this guy right here making both of them. But, um, but no, he made a good play over the top on the fourth down play. Um, you know, it being a fourth down, I uh, try a little bit more in essence to force balls. Um, but then, the, you know, the second interception, uh, I think that's just a, f a natural football balance that happens um, at any time. And I, I definitely trust Marquise nine times out of ten to make that play for me. So how hard has it been to not have two safety blankets with Xavier Greenbull and Randall Telfer out there? I think, you know, those those they're both great players and they're both different players. Um, you know, and it's they're such big weapons in our offense, you know, so to to be without them, um, you know, even in protections is kind of a big hit to our offense. But um, you know, I look forward to getting both of those guys back and healthy and you know, moving forward with this offense with them again. Max, at the start of spring practice, did you expect the starter to be named by today? And now that we know it isn't, what's your mindset over the summer? No, I didn't. I didn't really expect anything. You know, I try to just take things as they come. Um, uh, I think my mindset's just going to remain as it always has, has been. You know, uh, I think that the two other guys would say it the same way. They look at this team as their team. They look at themselves as the leader of the team. Um, so my mindset's just going to be to keep. Studying myself, Steve, keep studying the other guys, see what they do well, see some of their weaknesses, my weaknesses. You know, there's always room for improvement. Um, so to just keep pushing uh, and keep improving. And I hear a lot of talk about quarterbacks saying the game needs to slow down for them to you know, see things better. How would you compare the end of last season to today? Uh, I think you know I'm way way ahead of my, where I was um, last season. You know, having had that experience to to play a live game. Um, you know, I, I learned a lot, you know, especially situational football, being able to break things down. Certain looks, you know, when they drop eight into coverage and you know, they're only rushing three, you know, at those times it's easier to check it down and just take what they give you or just even take off myself, um, you know, to just be smarter with the ball. So I think more than anything, that's what I've, where I've grown the most. Max, when you're not in, are you watching the coaches or Max Brown's results that they're getting? Well, I, mean, I don't think necessarily the results, um, like Max Brown was saying, I think it, we're just taking mental reps. Um, you know, it, this is a team, so we do root each other on. You know, uh, when they make big plays, we all get pumped. You know, it's, it's an exciting time. So, um, you know, I think more so than anything, just taking mental reps and instead of being a student of the game. Last question for Max. Do you yeah. think that you've shown enough to be named starter? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think I've played well. I think. You know, I put uh, a good resume on film and uh, you know, look forward to seeing what happens. Thank you, sir. Thank you.